pour a glass of craft beer, we can do this. What's good, y'all? This is C Certified Brewhead, and welcome to another. Oh, and say one minute. This is a beer mail video here on BOS. This evening, I have four brand new releases from my good mates at Lost Craft in Toronto, Ontario. Um, if you guys have been following us for a while, you know that we've had Shahan from Lost Craft on the podcast twice now. Forgot the numbers, um, but he was one of our early uh, brewery interviews. I think episode like like eighteen or nineteen, and then we had him on. A bit later on, I forgot, in the 80s or 90s. Um, it's been very inspiring to watch him grow his business, um, kill the game. And one thing, because he, sometimes in this, uh, the beer thing, um, you know, we interview people and we sit down with them for like, you know, three, four, five hours sometimes. So you kind of, you know, build a nice relationship. So someone like Shahan became a personal friend. And it's been cool to watch him grow. And because his whole thing with Lost Craft, essentially, they are going after Budweiser, Coors drinkers, um, any Mac, you know, Canadian, any macro drinkers, that's who they're trying to attack. So essentially, they're a gateway brewery, very, very key. And uh, I think they get overlooked a lot as far as the value uh, for what they actually um, contribute to growing the craft beer community in Canada, or at least in Ontario. Um, I busted his ass about doing the stuff that I like. If you watch BOS, you know that we mess with like Milkshake and uh, uh, Hazy IPAs and stuff like that. So I feel like one of the beers we have here is a little bit to do with me bugging him a couple of years ago. And I think he's seen the way that the trends are going and finally came through. So four of the new beers. The first one is a Hellas Lager called Diversity. Um, super cool. Love Hellas. Second one is a Fruit Rattler. Um, it was a collab with a, uh, a chef. Third is an Apple Cider. Very cool. And the fourth one is their Milkshake IPA, which, mate, about time, Shahan, you friggin' dog. All right. Um, diversity. So this beer, um, there was actually a brewery by the name of um, Pine Pursuits who sold, they had a couple beers, and they sold to um, Lost Craft... I don't know when that was, like a year ago or something. Um, and their key beer was uh, one called, what was it called? Do you remember what it was called? The Answer. And it was a Hellas Lager. And so this is that beer repackaged for Lost Craft. Now, I don't know if they changed the recipe or anything like that, um, but they made an amazing can. Look at that, super sexy. Nice and black with gold and white. Uh, if anything, you know, Lost Craft are very well known for their um, very attractive can designs. So this one is 5%. Um, and I guess, yes, it does. It celebrates the, uh, you know, multicultural elements of Toronto, which is one of the most, or if not the most, uh, multicultural city on the planet. Um, so looking at this, it's slightly opaque. Smells like a hell's in and yeah. Beauty. From the taste of it, I don't know if I don't I can't taste any changes from the original uh, recipe. It's crisp, it's light, it's grassy. Um, it's still packed with flavor. I really, really enjoyed the um, people's people's plant prime pursuits. I always get it mixed up. Um, version of this, which I'm sure we did like a beer mail or something on that. Yeah, this is fantastic. I think this is a a, a perfect addition to the portfolio. They have a lush graph, have a um, a Kolsch. They have a light lager, like sub five, like four two or something, and this is a total different flavor profile from those beers. So at first, I didn't see how it can work, but this absolutely does work. Mm. Fantastic! Um, all right, Radler time. So this is a collab with Canadian juice pioneer and vegan cookbook author Ruth Tao, um, founder of Fresh Restaurants. Uh, I hadn't heard of that personally. Tiff, are you aware? Uh. Fresh. Uh, plant powered restaurants. It's not fresh e, like that one, but fresh. Yeah, yeah. You know fresh? Yeah. Okay. This was a collab with the chick who owns that. Cool. So it's two point five percent. It just says juices. I don't know which juices. Can't tell from the nose there. Oh, damn, it's hazy, bro. Yeah. So by the looks of it, I mean it could be any kind of juice. To be honest, it says it's mixed <coughs> with um, revival, which is the Kolsch that I was just mentioning before. And um, fruit juices, organic juice. Sorry, John. Let me know what you mix it with, mate. Guess we might be able to guess it anyway. And by the way, in case you missed it, this is a sexy ass can for diversity. I should have put that up before. 
Yeah, you see that? Yeah. Looks so nice. All right. Super hazy. Smells fruity. Get in ya. Nice. It's pineapple juice for sure. Yo, nice, man. It just tastes like pineapple juice. It's only 2.5%. 2.5? 2.5. I love it. Um, I've talked about this before, but apparently low ABV beers are uh, all the rage with the kids these days. Um, I didn't really understand it or appreciate it at first, but I'm seeing it more and more and more and more. So it really looks like that uh, this is what's up. So, I mean, this is fantastic. I'm generally not like a huge... I'm not like against Rattlers. I'm just like, yeah, whatever, some juicy kind of beer. But this is fantastic. You literally could drink this all day and not get sick of it. You might get heartburn from the acid and the pineapple juice, but it's great. All right, cider time. So also uh, looking like a trend, cider is becoming a thing. Um, once again, not something that I'm typically into, but as time has gone by, uh, we've been exposed to a bunch of um, cider makers and cider companies I mean, we we had Stow Cider on the podcast, and we've had um, Collective Arts send us some cider, Thornbury as well. So I've been drinking a lot more of it recently, not necessarily by choice, um, but I'm like gathering a or generating a bit of more of an appreciation for uh, for cider. So this is five percent. Um, it uses all Ontario apples. Um, it's extraordinarily effervescent and sparkly there. I hope this means the glass isn't dirty. I wash my shits really carefully and doing the side bubbles, but I don't know. All right, yeah, exactly. Get in here. Nice, super sweet. So I guess it's a sweet side and not a dry one. Yeah, the other ones aren't doing it. So I think it's just the side are bubbling up. Um, I don't even know me like a lot of words to describe it. Certainly sweet. It's dry. Refreshing, effervescent, like I said, large, big, fat bubbles versus, um, and they're like exploding. They're like popping out, like those flying fish in like Barbados or whatever. I saw this thing. Did you see where Benny was? Shasta Benny from Crowns of Hops. Wherever she was, they were like basically stingrays or manta rays jumping out of the ocean and back in. There's a bunch of them. Like, I would lose my shit, man. Ah, oh, this is dope. Yeah, man. It's nice and crushable. Tons of flavor too. Like it really tastes like a. I used to drink a lot of apple cider as a kid, like non-alcoholic stuff. Reminds me of that a lot. So, three from three, killing a game. I'm very proud of uh, Lost Craft, the way they sort of moved into some different stuff and just came through for the summer, man. Uh, this one right here is the one I've been waiting for. This is Eclipse, the milkshake IPA. Um, I told Jahan I don't believe this is a milkshake because there's no vanilla, and I think vanilla is the defining um, ingredient that makes it a milkshake. This is a lactose IPA, but I guess, um, you know, milkshake is probably better for the branding. There we go. Nice and chunky sediment. Get a look at that can. So I think, Tiff, is this the one we had with him at um, the the pre-version of this at uh, that pub near his crib downtown? I think so. Because I think it was, it was like a West Coast IPA, and it was the first IPA because they have a pale ale called Sirius. It was the blue, like a blue can or something like no, that. No, it was a white can green. Green, that's what it was. It was green. Okay, so they've kind of inverted it for this. Um, they've made this, yeah, a milkshake IPA at 6%. Um, doesn't really say, I guess it's just got lactose though, and oats, which is dope. It's super hazy. Ooh, can smell really yeasty, which I love. Mate, get in ya. Okay, nice, juicy. Creamy, wicked, like fluffy head. Man, tangy. Um, the lactose gives a fantastic body and the oats too. Um, this is super cool to me because the people that, like I was saying, the Lost Craft in general, I think are underrated from the craft beer community. Um, and the fact that they're doing something like this is going to open up a lot more people to the style of milkshake IPAs. Um than any other brewery who would do this like the people who are buying all the other one everyone anyone else who does it will not have the same impact that lost craft uh have because of their fan base and the people who are buying their beers um i love this is completely hazy they had the yeast sediment in there this is dope i really like that um i think it could do with some vanilla 
personally, but essentially for an IPA with lactose, tropical, uh, a little bit chalky, it's got all the elements that you would expect. Um, proud of them, man. So if you're in Ontario, and I think they might even have some distro elsewhere. Last time I checked, it was, they had some stuff in like Newfoundland and a couple other places, but mostly Ontario, uh, they're everywhere. Um, you'll be able to find these in LCBOs across the province. So definitely check all of these ones out. Uh, their core range, um, the Revival, Crimson, the Red Ale, the uh, Serious Pale Ale. I think they might have another one I'm forgetting. But they've got a decent amount of beers out right now. Something for every flavor, every every taste profile, um, any occasion. I'm just a fan. You already know. So I'm somewhat biased. But I went into these ones not knowing I hadn't heard a lot about them to be fair the only person I knew who tried them was my brother um, and he told me he liked them all so I was like okay cool uh, I was pretty keen Tiff you hadn't had any of these before right except I Eclipse had, I had Eclipse only and that diversity. was it and diversity because we oh you drank that already yeah okay so yeah guys definitely a huge fan shouts to Lost Craft shouts to Shahan the whole team you guys are legends keep killing the game keep introducing people to craft beer and guys if you're in, if you're already a craft head Support breweries like this. I think that people get twisted. It's a whole other conversation, but you know, Lost Craft get lumped into a basket of like marketing companies and stuff when they are very passionate about beer. They have every intention of opening a bricks and mortar brewery. Um, so these guys are helping to grow the scene, and uh, you know, I think we should definitely show more love. So, guys, that is it. If you enjoyed the episode, smash the thumbs up, hit subscribe below, hit the notification bell. So you know when the new new drops. Follow us on social media at BOS Podcast. And check out the long form audio, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, everywhere you get your talky audio stuff. That is it, guys. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video. And as always, get it in ya.